Kishore here. So what we're going to learn today is part to part ratios and part to whole ratios. So first let's start with part to part ratios. Here we have three red marbles and four blue marbles. So to ask, so to ask we have to find red to blue marbles. So part by part to part ratios means we have to find part by part. That's what it basically means. So red to blue. So we have to find out the, how much red marbles there are first. So one, two, three. There is three red marbles. So we're going to put three. And then we have how much blue marbles do we have? Four blue marbles. So we're going to write four, three, two, four. And in my previous, and my, in my last video, I taught you we can write it in any three ways. It first is three, two, four, or we can write three is two, four, or we can write three over four. We can write any of these three forms. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next part. Part to whole ratio. So, part to whole ratios, what does that mean? We have part to whole ratios means is we have to take one part and then compare with the whole set. So let's try one example. It's asking blue to whole. So that means we have to find how many blue marbles there are and add up and get our total number of marbles. So how many blue marbles are there? Um, four. So we're going to put four. Here, four. How many marbles there are in total? There is three red marbles and four blue marbles. So if we add it up, we have seven marbles in total. So I'm going to put seven. So we're asking blue to hold. Blue marbles to hold. So that means we have to write down our blue marbles first. And then we will come into total marbles. So we're going to write as 4, 2, 7, or 4 is 2, 7, or 4 over 7. So this is the difference between part to part ratios and part to whole ratios. I hope you understand. I, I hope you understood today's lesson. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye.